In this video, I'd like to introduce you to a really important tool in our arsenal for preparing clinical evaluation reports for the MDR. And that's the Mantra Systems CER template document. And this is updated periodically to reflect any of the latest changes in the legislative landscape and also in the guidelines which have been produced in relation to clinical evaluation. You will always be given the most up-to-date version of this template. So the one that you have access to will reflect any recent changes that have, that have come to bear uh, that may have a bearing on how to produce CERs. So in this video, I just want to introduce you to the template. If you go inside the document, the first thing to note is that this is copyrighted material. So you do not have authorization to share this. The contents list is unusually for a contents page actually worth spending some time looking through because it gives a good overview of the structure of a CER. And that's because the structure of the template exactly mirrors the final structure of the, of the CER. Uh, so it's a really good overview and a way to become familiar build upon the understanding you already have about the requirements for writing a CER. Once you pass the contents page, there's an introduction which also outlines the various different sections just in a slightly different way. But this page about how to use the template is, is really vital in getting the most out of the document. So it's not just a passive PDF document. It contains instructions of several different types and to, to really get the most out of using the template, it's important to understand the difference between them. So wherever you see information that's required, this is really intended to pose questions that, that form the, the, the basic framework for a section. So if you form an answer to the questions in the required sections, turn it into prose, then you will begin populating the section. So they really act as, as prompts to ensure that you include all relevant material but they're designed to be device agnostic. So it doesn't matter what sector your device is in, addressing the questions in the required sections will ensure that you have adequate coverage. Instructions are slightly different to the required prompts. Instructions are just straightforward instructions. Simply do this. There's less scope for interpretation where you see instructions presented. Guidance text is just for your information. It's to outline the purpose of a section and to give general guidance and background information. It's not intended to be transposed into the final CER. It's just to help you understand what each part of the template is for. Where you see a section that says transpose, essentially this can be added pretty much as written into the completed CER because these are common sections, regardless of the device and its purpose, and they'll be common to all the CERs that you produce. So very straightforward. And then the final type of text that you'll see in the document are illustrative examples. And so these use fictional medical devices to give guidance on structure and importantly on writing style. So it, it's not about copying this text, it's about emulating the style that's used in order to make sure that your choice of language is appropriate for the document. Finally, the introduction to the template gives some guidance on structure and also on writing style and writing tips. So it reiterates the fundamental principles of writing objectively and in the third person, defining all terms that you use, and ensuring that all points that you make are referenced. So that means avoiding naked opinions that are unsubstantiated. If you make a claim in the text, there should always be a reference to support it. And then there's some guidance about how to use Microsoft Word in the most effective way to ensure that headings and subheadings and sub subheadings can be kept track of. And we go through that in a little bit more detail in, uh, in another video. But the point is that headings and subheadings need to be numbered and using an automated numbering feature makes it easier in the event that you reorder the document or add extra sections at a later date. Uh, finally, there is information to the effect that hopefully you already know by now, which is that our team are on hand to help you with this process. We have a range of support available, including substantive support and add-on features such as assistance with systematic literature reviews and other parts of writing the CER. So if you do need any support from our team, then please reach out. And then finally, there's reference to our CER review service in the event that you've completed a CER and you'd like an opinion on its alignment with MDR requirements. So that's an introduction to the template. And over the coming videos, we're going to go into more detail 
about working with the template and using it to construct clinical evaluation reports for your medical devices.